Now, it's not surprising that the Democrats don't agree with that. They've long persecuted Christians, like the Little Sisters of the Poor. They wanted to provide contraception coverage for nuns. Okay, Senator, or they've harassed can, can Catholics for going to traditional masses. That's what this bill's about, Caitlin. No, Caitlin, you're not going to stop me there because you're misrepresenting what the bill is about. The well, bill is about infringing upon religious liberty. Let's have a conversation about this bill and this legislation. The example of Alabama proves my point. You had the Supreme Court of Alabama ruling on an old law. They felt their hands were constrained by a law. And what happened? The political branches of the Alabama government, who are elected by and accountable to the people, promptly passed a new law that guaranteed access to IVF in Alabama the same way every other state guarantees access to IVF. But Senator, this bill would have guaranteed access to IVF, and you're saying that it would have forced people to, to do things against uh, their religious beliefs. I should note, this bill doesn't require anyone to, to perform any operations or procedures. It just says that people should have access to IVF. And it also talks about having insurance companies cover the cost for fertility treatments, something that your candidate supports. So just to be clear, I'm not misrepresenting the bill. You can say you don't like it. You can say that you think it's a show vote. You can talk about those aspects of it. But this is something that was put up there and it would have guaranteed access to IVF.